Ryan's Mobile One. If you've got a Ford Focus and you're here, there's a good chance that you've got this code P0451. Straight up confirmed 451. Well, let me show you how to take care of that. Step one, replace your gas cap, especially if you've got like 100,000 miles on it and it doesn't click so good. Make sure that's good, clear the code, and if that's all been done and you still get that code, it is most likely your fuel tank pressure sensor, which is not even on the fuel tank. Let me explain. So this is where the fuel tank pressure sensor is located, right there. See? Or maybe we should look from this side. It's right there. Can you see it? You can't because it's blocked in by all this other stuff. But if we get up over the top, we can see the plug and a little piece of it. It's actually built into the hose. Most of them, as you know, would be found in the fuel tank. But this one is not the case. This one is fancier. And you get more parts with it too. You get this complicated hose with the orange, the white, and the green safety connects. That's all one piece when you buy the fuel tank pressure sensor. And this can be yours for the price of like 180 bucks. It's under 200 and it's more than 100. It's like 130 or 180 or something like that through the dealer. Let's begin. So this sensor doesn't look like most gas tank pressure sensors. Most of them plug into the tank. You know, the push and twist or plunger in or whatnot. But because Ford has an identity crisis and thinks that they are BMW or is trying really hard to be BMW, uh, that's what we have. It's in line. And we've got these heat shrunk hoses that are just so rigid and annoying. You know, as far as a mechanic, I can't just buy a hose and make it do this. You know, it's got to be in a jig and it's got to be heated and all that kind of stuff. And lots of quick disconnects or quick connects. Not quick. I always say disconnect. It's quick connect. It goes on quick. Click. And then you've got this follow-up retention that you see here. Uh, but like I say, the pressure sensors for most gas tanks are in the freaking gas tank. And usually they're in the fuel sending unit itself. You know, like the little round thing you see at the top of the tank that has hoses and wires and stuff coming out of it. How do you explain where the location is? This goes up to the filler neck snorkel where your gas cap is. This goes to your EVAP canister. And this goes to the top rear of the gas tank. And so when we're going to be looking at it, we're going to be looking at it from like here. So gas tank, EVAP canister, gas tank pressure sensor. For all intents and purposes, this is all, you know, one thing. And if you leave your gas cap off on the snorkel part, then it's going to think something's wrong pressure-wise. Uh, but anyway, I'll leave a link in the description how these work. Um, ADP training does a good video on this. Mandy's a genius when it comes to all these sensors and how they work and all that kind of stuff. So I'll put there. And it's one of the special few videos that actually has his real voice. So be sure to check that out. But he'll give you the numbers and whatnot. There's basically a 5 volt reference. There's a ground wire and a signal wire. I believe the middle wire is the signal wire. Um, don't quote me on that. Uh, but basically you can test these by seeing what goes through it. There's a certain threshold that it should be in. So anyway, let's go to the car, show you where this lives on the Ford Focus. Uh, so this is your filler neck. This is the vent. Uh, the vent has that green connection on the back of it. Remember I said it goes to your filler neck, neck snorkel. Um, the key to this job is getting this hose off the gas tank, in my opinion, the way that I do it. There's different ways you can do it, lots of ways to skin a cat. You look in there, there's glue all over the inside of the hose. And when you look at the filler neck metal part, there's glue all over that. So you're working through glue. Um, you can see the electrical plug for the gas tank pressure sensor back up in there. If I move this out of the way, should be able to see it. It's right there over the top. And if you want to see the charcoal canister, apologize for the shaking. Uh, it got worked today. Uh, but anyway, that's the charcoal canister. The purge solenoid on this, by the way, is behind up in there. And these little clips, if you take the nut off, you'd think that it would just come down, but no, they're like spring stainless steel clips. There's three of them. You have to bend them or pry them where they're at 90 degrees because you ever see on a brake rotor kind of getting on a tangent here 
uh, on a brake rotor or something there'll be like those little clips that hold it on so that when it's bumping down the assembly line you know two three stories up it doesn't have this fall off on a worker so they're clipped on kind of like that onto the studs so anyway they're not coming off but it's a pain but you gotta take the whole thing off Ooh, you can see a little glimpse of it right there see it right there that is your purge solenoid it's like right in the evap can now tell me that isn't just fun and giggles so you can see it right there so anyway the things you gotta pull off back to the task at hand you gotta pull this one off and that can come on or off at any point in the game uh, the gas tank one the way I do it comes off last and the second one or first one that you pull off is the green one there's a 10 millimeter head bolt it's an M6 by one but the 10 millimeter sockets what you use to get it off there's a couple of zip ties that hold this fun stuff up in there um, I just take that off and then that gives you enough room to where you can pull this back the reason why we take the hose off and unclip that one and undo this is to move it back if you go per Ford's advice they tell you that you gotta pull out their incredibly chewy tough uh, body clips and I tried that got that far and it's like you know what screw that it's like starting to bend and fail because it's so stuck in there uh, maybe do a little bigger hole next time for it <laughs> anyway stuff's like a blanket you don't even have to do anything you just pull it out and uh, hope for the best anyway that gives you all the room that you need and then you don't have to take all of everything apart with it up there so all you got to do is pull it back a little bit um, the way I do it, I do flex the plastic line ever so slightly. Do not bend it too far or else it'll kink and don't blame me for it if you do. But that's how you get it out. Um, if you move this up or down and that's still in the tank and you're pulling back on this, it will come off. Um, as far as getting that glued on hose off, you see that uh, it's almost like these import gray or something. Uh, what I use for that, let me show you. Spray silicone lubricant, a 90 degree pick to get it started. So I go in, I spray the pick over the garbage can and I just let it go everywhere. Uh, but you spray the pick and then you stick it in between the hose and the thing and you work around in a circle. And then you graduate up to a screwdriver. Uh, spray the screwdriver, move it around. Um, when I'm doing it, I kind of, uh, Say this is my hose, I'll stick it in between and then I'll kind of aim the screwdriver tip up first and then work it up and just kind of walk it and work it around like that. Once you do that, you can graduate to a pry bar and then with the pry bar there's a little triangle of access. That's what we call it, we call it the access triangle and you can kind of push it like a Chinese finger trap. You push by the lip of it on the side. You can get to maybe three quarters of it from underneath and that's enough and at the same time while you're prying it you just bend it down just grab it get it to kink over like that and just pull it down like that it's harder than it looks but that's how I do it um, you could possibly pull it off of the fuel tank not sure if that's glued on but you can see I loosened my clamp got it back there so the clamp from the factory faces away from you a little bit you can barely get on it Give it a few twists it loosens up and then you can aim it through this hole and it gets a lot easier okay that is the tour let me give you a little panning shot so you can see all the real estate you're dealing with uh, when it comes time to take that hose assembly out to do the fuel tank pressure sensor you just slip it out through the back over the top here there's plenty of room for it uh, well, before you go to put these all back on uh, you can take a q-tip spray it with your spray silicone and just swab just take your little q-tip and just swab the o-rings in there that's going to make a big difference another thing that really helps is make sure that you're holding these exactly straight with the nipple or hose or connection or union whatever make sure that they line up good if you're if you're crooked and trying to shove it on crooked you're going to have a bad time of it you can chew up your o-rings and cause leaks and stuff you're going to do fine you're going to do great because you're going to push them on straight the whole point of do it for doing these is for one it's hard for you to replace but two it goes together really quickly and easily um, as far as coming apart it can be a little bit of a pain so there's a push button here and a push button in here 
and sometimes you have to push both but you see this is where you're squeezing but then look at the uh, the way it opens see sideways like that so that's how that works this one is uh, take away the same design only they're white if you push up only from the bottom one that you can get to it still opens it pretty good but if you support the back side of it and push the bottom one it opens up even better there's a little, little barb that it latches on to they're all the same they're all the German Volkswagen BMW type design as for the plug you just squeeze on the very back end it's a lot nicer plug than the most of the Ford ones you see. I would imagine if this is German, the plug would be too, so go figure. You push it, it goes click, and then pull it back. Feels like you're working on a Volkswagen. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is not the funnest job with that hose being glued on, but uh, hopefully it's a lot funner for having the right information to be able to do this. If you like this video, be sure to click like, help other people to find it. And uh, if you want to join the B-Mob, uh, Brian's Mobile One channel, subscribe button's right down there. And then hit the bell and you'll be notified when we get new videos. Learn all kinds of crazy stuff and side tips. Even if it's not a car that you're working on specifically or don't anticipate working on, there'll be some little trick or something uh, that will make you a sharper, better mechanic. May save you a bunch of hours. Who knows? Give it a shot. See what you think. Cheers. You're watching B Fate on Brian's Mobile One. I'm watching nothing. <laughs> there is nothing. Hey, how are you? Wow, you look awesome! <laughs>